close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it coming in, watch it going out. Notice where you feel it. Watch the area where you feel the breath and notice if it's comfortable. If it's not comfortable, you can change the way you breathe. You make it deeper or more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. Breathe in a way that it feels good to stay settled right here, because when the mind can stay settled, then it gains strength. The mind that's running around, even though it seems to have a lot of energy, wears itself out very quickly. It's the mind that's settled and still that has strength and can replenish its strength. Because we need a lot of strength to live in this world. There's a phrase, what goes around comes around. We're all living in a world where people are doing things, saying things, thinking things. And many times we're the we're the ones who are hit by these actions. And then when hit and we feel weak, then we lash out. And of course, lashing out it sends more bad energy around. So what comes around goes around, what goes around comes around again. And you want to be able to step out of that cycle, because a lot of it is very negative. You want to be in a cycle where you're putting good energy in. And that has to come from within. You can't hope to feed off other people's good energy all the time. Sometimes it's there, but a lot of times it's not. You want to have your own independent source. So regardless of what other people do, let their bad actions just drop right there. I think of them as an arrow they send to you, and if you don't pick it up, then it's not yours. It just lies there on the ground. The problem is we pick it up, say, oh, they're doing this to me, and then you stab yourself with it, and then you throw it at somebody else. So that's bound to come back around again. You want to send good energy out. That comes from having the mind settled and still right here, so that you are strong enough to resist the temptation to respond without really thinking, to respond in an unskillful way. So try to develop your strength by giving the mind a place to stay solidly here, where it feels at home, where it doesn't feel threatened by the events of the world. And that way you can be a good influence in the world. First off, of course, a good influence for your own happiness, because you start sending good things around, then it's going to come back as good things. And other people might take that as an example and send some more good things around as well. So think of this as your contribution to the world, the fact that you're getting your mind trained. So that under no circumstances would you do anything harmful. You want that to be your, your standard. And for it to be truly your standard, you have to dig down really deep inside the mind to find things that are real value here. But it's in here where the strength is found. We tend to think of getting strength from things outside. Of course, we've gained some strength from the food we eat, from the people we're with. But we can't always depend on that. You want the kind of strength that can be strong even when there's not good food to eat, and even when the people around you are behaving in unreasonable ways. And that has to come from within. So focus your attention on training yourself inside. If you look around and all you can see are the bad things in other people, you might want to look, turn around and look at yourself. Say, well, there's some bad things in here I've got to work on. Focus on that so that your actions become a gift to the world rather than one more arrow being thrown around. And that's how you improve the world. And you start by improving your own actions inside.